everybody, we are here for a very special reason today um, and that reason is beautiful rhino, the rhinoceros iguana. Now I'm going to work really hard and not crying but I'm going to immediately cry. Rhino has been part of our Australia Zoo family for as long as I can remember. It came in 1993. Yeah, which yes. Which was before either of us were even born. Yes, yeah. it was like a year after Steve and I got married, we got Rhino. That's amazing. And he was born in 1980. That's incredible. Wow. So Rhino actually got a Guinness World Record for being the oldest rhinoceros iguana on record. And wow, has he just <laughs> lived a life. Truly. And he was such a special part of the family too, because he was the first animal you saw when he went through the Australia Zoo gates. So he greeted every single guest that came through our doors and he was just such an icon here. With a lot of attitude. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. He, I think to the very end Rhino was just, he was pure just sass and absolute energy. He was just so awesome. Every time you went in with him, you know, even to the very end, he just ran over. He was so keen to eat his favourite hibiscus flowers. I know I love some of the old photos of, of us as like little tiny kids with Rhino. One that stands out in my mind is when I was about two years old and I'm looking at him. Oh my goodness, you see the, the, the look on my face. It was the first time I went in with him and he was white. He was probably double the length that I was tall and I just saw him as this absolute dinosaur. And he was just this big old grandpa that you just absolutely fell in love with. And He's just gorgeous. We have to thank our entire team for loving him so much. Our, our reptiles team dedicated countless hours to making sure that Rhino was healthy and happy and living his best life here at Australia Zoo and he really did get all of the love and attention that he truly deserved. And it is with a very heavy heart that we have to say goodbye to Rhino but we we didn't want to miss the opportunity to be able to share him one last time with you guys. Oh, I don't know why it makes me so sad. <laughs> it's so it hard. It's very like, sad. Well, saying goodbye to a family member. Part of a family that's been at the zoo for so long. Too, yeah. Literally yeah. For, for decades. And it's just, it's always one of those things that you think about, you reflect on it. It is in a very real way, the absolute end, end of an era. And mm -hmm. as you say, the team put in so much time and effort, and particularly during the end, to make sure that no matter what, his quality of life was 100% every day. He lived a brilliant life every single day, and um, that's what you hold on to. He, he wasn't just ancient, he was 42 years old, but, but he actually lived every one of those 42 years happy and healthy and thriving. And that's what you gotta remember. But as with anything, when you say goodbye to a, a member of the animal family that's been with us for so long, it's very hard and it's it's always so emotional, oh, particularly it's... when it's a lizard that you and dad got. It's your buddy! So, yeah, so, yeah. so crazy. Day. Okay, so I know, but I have to tell you some of my favorite things about him. Mm -hmm. So he's a ground dwelling lizard. Mm -hmm. So that was cute because he couldn't climb. So he'd be like, oh, I can't climb, bring What's the food over here. Jowl. And then, yeah, 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 his little jowls were just like so squishy. Yeah. And yeah. then he's a rhino iguana because he has like a little horn on his nose. Yeah. Yeah. And like the top of his head is soft, you know, like that was the boop spot. So you always had to spot. boop him. And if you started stroking his face very softly in the top of his head, He'd close his eyes and put his face up to you. And you could sit like that forever. And then when you watch him run and grab something and crunch down on it, I think maybe you shouldn't have been playing with him when you were two years old, because <laughs> he has very strong jaws. But we love him so much. And I think as an endangered species, it was important for everyone to get to know what a rhinoceros iguana was and is and for him to have his very best life. And we are going to be spreading his ashes today and behind us is the African savanna where our larger rhinos live. So we thought it was very fitting for Rhino the Rhinoceros Iguana to have his memorial service with our beautiful rhinos behind us. So it's, it's really, really special and we feel very honored to be able to share. I, I agree, yeah. but you know what he used to do with Chandler? chase him with intent. Oh yeah, he <laughs> did. There's something about me he just wasn't sure about. Yeah. 
and just had me doing laps around him. But he was such a special lizard, and I love this spot for him too, because we have some giant hibiscus just over there, and that was some of his favorite food too. So I think this is the perfect place for him to rest easy and say goodbye. That's Robert, good. I'm gonna Let's let you it. take the ashes. You let me little rhino bagpipes. I know. I know. <laughs> but oh, yeah, he's, he's an animal too too special not to not to be shared and not Definitely. to be remembered for sure. Okay. All right. I've got some flowers for my big boy. Have a look at the spikes on his back. Look at those big, sharp spikes. See how he's got his tail stiff as a board. Don't they look like a dinosaur? Especially with these spikes. And that's all about looks. He's a good looking bloke. And the girls, the Sheilas, they just love him. They love our boy Rhino. Hey, so do I. Good boy, Rhino. Yeah. 